In this video session, we're going to take a look at working with the new Simple Steps 5 from AdvancedT-Shirts.com. This is a color separation and halftone ripping software solution for screen printing that covers everything you'd need, especially when we get into all three of the different Simple Steps applications for Corel Draw, that being Simple Steps Smart Rip, Simple Steps Raster, and Simple Steps Overprint. In this video, we'll be working with SimpleSeps5 and InkSeps.com to see how we could print this tiger at this level of reprographic or reproduction quality using just three screens, and that is your white base, your red, and your yellow, and not printing any orange or the browns or the different tans and different colors that you see in here all this is simulated color simulated process printing go to my tiger cdr here i just export this so i can just hit Control e and i'll get to export this and i'll save that in a folder as the name tiger i already did this here i'll export that and i do want to replace it now i'm going to use a resolution of 300 dpi the file is 16 by 13 with a little bit more there I don't want anti-aliasing now if there was text or anything like that I definitely wouldn't want anti-aliasing select OK and I would export that image the next thing I would do is go to my web browser and really I prefer to use Chrome as my web browser when I'm working with the inkcepts.com browser color separation application now this is a color separation software that works in your web browser and it's free we've generated over 15,000 color separations for over 4,500 users so Inkseps has really been growing throughout the years but we'll go to the color seps app and that'll load our app you'll have to create an account login or register and you can see here it says click to select or open a file. But first I'm going to log in. And if you don't have an account, you can create one. Now I'm logged in as my advanced artist or my email account. Next I'll go here to click here to select and open a file. I'll click on that. I'll select my tiger from where I saved up my computer and then I'll just click on open and watch how fast this color separates. Just one second, boom, it's separated. Now here I have the original and I can compare my separation with the original. Now here I have the different color channels. Now the image has been broken down into color components or color channels that will replicate or reproduce the image through the halftone printing process. I know that there's no magenta, so I can delete that. There's no blue, I can delete that. There's no cyan and there's no green. Now I can left click here and look at my yellow. I can double click on that over here on the icon and get a preview of how much yellow I have and see how that density is in the color. I can change the color of the yellow right here if I wanted to make some adjustments to the image and you can see how I can make those live color adjustments very easily and very quickly right here in my web browser and you can see that I could dial that into more of a red if I wanted or come over into more of a green and I could do some really interesting effects with the color here I'll hit cancel there I can also adjust the saturation of the yellow and this is live and free in your web browser and you can see that effect if I push that yellow up I'll start adjusting the saturation. So very easy to work with. The Inkseps browser app. I'll hit cancel here. I can do the same with the red, make adjustments there. So here, but white highlight, white base, red, yellow, and black. But I won't be printing the black. Since I'm logged in, I can just click on download. And the Inkseps app will start to package my color separations for me and save them into the downloads folder on my computer. Now this is a pretty big image, so it'll take just a minute to process everything here. But you can see that literally, in a matter of minutes, I went through and created that separation quickly and easily, working with the free 
Inkcept's browser-based application, which is supported in SimpleCept 5. Now that I'm done with the separation, I'll go back to Corel. And here in SimpleCept 5, I'm going to go to Inkcept's. And I'll click on that tab, and then I'll come down here to Search. I'm going to go to the Downloads folder on my computer, and I'll see the zip file for Tiger. Left click to select that, and then click on Open. Then I'm just going to click on Import Separations. And then I'll very quickly bring my color separations directly into Corel Draw as monochrome bitmaps that I can then work with for color separation and output. Once my separations are loaded into Corel Draw, they'll be loaded as monochrome bitmaps based on the color components that were in the image or the color separations from the Inkcept's web application. And we can left click, we'll move just this image. You see that's the black. We see down here black outline, transparent background. Left click here, we've got the yellow. And we can see that yellow there. And we could also make adjustments to these monochromes in Corel Draw if we wanted to. So we can see that's very fast and very easy. If we want to check the accuracy, I'll just hit Control A to select all, Control C to copy, go back to the tiger, I'll move that over, hit Control V to paste it in, and we can see how accurate those color separations are coming from the Inkcepts app. I'll delete that. Once again, that's www.inkcepts.com, and it's fully supported here in SimpleCepts version 5. Now with this print, what we did is we choked the halftone dots. We printed just the white base, the red, and the yellow. So we had just three screens, but yet we got that level of accuracy that you can see here with just white, interlocked yellow, and red. Very, very close. Just a few screens. You know, they say for simulated process, you need a lot of screens. Well, that really depends on how many colors are in the image that you're working with. But we'll go back here to my inkcepts.com monochrome color separations in Corel Draw. One thing you want to be aware of, you can find your color separations here in your object manager. And we can see that there. And you can also select them there, delete them, change them, etc. Now because we're going to print on a black shirt without printing the black, we're going to use the new choked halftone dot feature in simple steps 5 I'll select the black and I'll just delete that and we'll bring simple steps over here go to color management create selection palette select all one click conversion and that's going to convert everything to Pantone spot colors now I'm ready to go to separations now here I want to go with a white base that's going to need to be tinted I want to choke this because I'm going to choke the halftone dots. If you had text in here, you might want to choke that. I'm going to keep the white highlight. Even though I'm not going to print it, I'm going to want it reflected in the white base. We're going to delete the white highlight afterwards. I'm going to come down here to my yellow and interlock that. Change this Pantone name to yellow so I know what it is. Do the same thing with the red here. Set this to all black. Now I'm going to go with an LPI of 55 and I'm going to set LPI for all colors at 55. So here we've got our separation set up. We've got a white base. We're going to choke the halftone dots, new and simple steps five. We're going to process the white highlight so that shows up in the white base, but we're not going to print that because we didn't print that in the original tiger print. Then we've got interlocked yellow. Now interlocking is always based on any two colors blending together, one of them, not both interlocks, so that the halftones are printed side by side and not on top of each other. Now just come down here and click on Generate Separations, and Simple Steps 5 will start to process my inksteps.com simulated process color separations in Corel Draw. Once Simple Steps 5 has finished processing my halftone color separations in Corel Draw, I'll be on the halftone preview page. Now, all we see is the red and the yellow because we didn't use the black because we're not going to print it. 
we're not going to use the white highlight because it'll probably be too much white against the black and overpower that won't be able to use the black of the garment as effectively so here I'll right click and I'll come down and go to delete page to get rid of the white highlight here's my white base I'll go over one more page to my halftone preview I'm going to go through and I'll hold down alt that's the yellow that's the red that's the white highlight I'm going to delete that and I'll create a black rectangle and I'll just send that to the back of the page right click and we'll go order and to back of page then I'll select everything here except for the rectangle and I'll go to bitmaps convert to bitmap 300 dpi anti-aliasing transparent background select OK let that process and I'll go to bitmap or excuse me effects and I'll go to blur I'll go to Gaussian blur and just about one pixel and select OK now this looks kind of washed out and that's from the Pantone color but if I hit control Z and go back to the half tones and I'll take the yellow and I'll right click and select the real yellow and I'll hold down alt and that'll select the red beneath the yellow right click here in the red to change those half tones to the actual red here I'll just click off to deselect everything and then I'll just click on from the tools tab bitmap halftone preview and that'll create that halftone RGB preview for me automatically and here we can see the halftone preview for the tiger print which if we come back here we can see that that was a setup for this print and this is our halftone preview so that is how we would set ourselves up to print on the black using just a white base the red and the yellow and no black so that we could have the black of the shirt as the black of the print working with color separations from inkseps.com in simpleseps5 and the inkseps tab and that's how this print was actually set up and screen printed using just three screens white base red and yellow and we can see all the brown and orange and tan and gray without printing the black choking the half tone dots interlocking the yellow all unique things to simple steps working with simulated process color separations from www.inkseps.com. We'll wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.